So we're gonna go ahead and share this screen now. And so give us a second. Great, I think we got it organized here now. So it's kind of exciting. I got a new computer for my birthday. I just joined the 60 Club. So, you know, I don't feel any older, but I feel a lot wiser. So I guess this is gonna be a great year where I'm gonna be able to blossom into the new me. I, I always say the, the 60s is the new 50s, right? So uh, I'm excited to, to, to make this next 10 years the best years ever. So I wanna welcome you all for taking the time to learn some really valuable information tonight. And like I said, this is the first time I have done this uh, course on live, on the webinar. So of course, if there's a few little glitches, just bear with me and I promise you, it will be just as great if you are sitting in my classroom as I've been teaching this class at the Center for New Medicine and really teaching classes for about 14 years. But so many of my patients have asked me to do courses online because you know our, our clinic is very international and we have a lot of patients that come from all over the world, Dubai and Asia and Europe. So this is gonna be really exciting uh, to be able to continue coaching them and to help them on their journey of healing and transformation. And so I wanna welcome you all because again, we're really excited to share this six week pro uh, program that we're gonna be offering. So I just wanna share a little bit with you on some of the media that I have done uh, in regards to my career. I've been a, a featured speaking at quite a few events, but the anti-aging conference in Mexico City was just awesome because it gave me an opportunity to really talk about the science of nutrition and how it really affects uh, our bodies when it comes to the utilizing or excess of too much glucose. I've also done a lot of uh, teaching in Asia and being keynote speakers for weight loss and also metabolic syndrome courses as well. I was just featured about maybe three weeks ago on West Coast Weekly. And it was really a lot of fun because they wanted an expert on a ketogenic lifestyle. And so they invited me. So I was really excited to share that. And you can go onto YouTube and be able to watch it. But it was just a really informative seven minutes. And it was really great. In fact, uh, they were so excited with Dr. Keneally and I's um, interview that they are going to film a, um, a little, uh, what would I call a, uh, um, they want to do a podcast, not a podcast, but what is it? Pilot. A, a pilot, yes, a pilot. And so we're pretty excited about that. It's going to be called Doctor's Detective, and I'm going to be part of that. So I'm really, really going to be excited. I also was featured in Ty Bollinger's The Truth About Cancer, and that was a wonderful opportunity for me to be able to um, share my information to the world, really, because this was, uh, again, for many people, didn't know they had many options outside traditional allopathic medicine in regards of treatment for cancer. And then of course I do a lot of guest speaking here and around Orange County as well. So I would like to just share with you um, a little, oops, I'm gonna go to the next one here. Okay. Little technical difficulty, so actually one up. Here we go, one down, okay. So why am I deciding to do this course now, uh, this keto kickstart at this time? Because honestly, as Dr. Kinley and I have talked many, many times, we are really facing a global health crisis. I mean, when one or two people are getting cancer in this country, it's no longer in somebody's backyard, it's in our very own backyard. And I'm sure most of you have had maybe even your own personal experience, but it's experienced with loved ones. And it's often a very trying situation because it's a diagnosis that nobody wants to have. But when you realize there's so many treatments, it gives the patients opportunity to have such great hope and really follow a more natural means of treatment. It's interesting to note that 40% of the adults in this country are obese, and 20% of that are children fitting into this category. That's really sad. So honestly, this is a time we're not, that we're facing that they're saying that our children's children will not outlive them. Well, that to me is unacceptable and really scary. So we've got to take charge. You know, we have to take charge of our household and what we are actually feeding our children and guiding them to great health. 
Um, people are experiencing, you know, old age disease in a really early age, like dementia and Alzheimer's. And, you know, honestly, it's really toxin burden overload and nutritional deficiencies. And all these things we can totally correct. Now, in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to shatter some myths and clarify some misguided nutritional advice that might be making you sick, fat, and tired. There's just so much information out there, and so many of my patients come in really honestly with a list of all the questions because they're so confused, especially when they have immunity issues. They might be thinking the Gersten or raw diet or vegan diet or ketogenic diet. And what is the best one? So hopefully we'll clarify some of that information for you tonight because, again, there's many options out there, but I'm going to give you a platform to be able to build a foundation to not only prevent but to also treat. Now, the interesting thing about integrative medicine or integrative nutrition is that we're really using the best of both worlds with the allopathic medicine. You know, it's all about what we call standard of care. And most often that standard of care is going to be medication. And at times I might recommend that yes, patient might need metformin to lower their blood sugar levels or even antibiotics. But we're always gonna to try to go for natural first before we go for medication. And that's what integrative medicine is or integrative nutrition is we're gonna take the best of both worlds. And many doctors aren't telling you about how you can reverse most of these health conditions and oftentimes they tell you when it's too late when you've already crossed over to the other side but what i want to do is share with you that we can start pedaling backwards the minute we see you're going in the wrong direction and it is really scientific uh, scientifically proven that most health conditions are lifestyle related and so what they say is that the nutrition we have as a standard american diet is enough for survival, survivable, it's enough to survive, but it's not enough to thrive and create that vitality that we're all seeking. Okay. Now, if you're ready, again, to make a really conscious lifestyle shift, then this course is gonna be absolutely perfect for you. And I tell patients, you know, there's times in life where you're just not ready. And if, you know, again, when I go through the presentation and you feel that, you know, uh, you're not ready, you're gonna sit on the sidelines, then, you know, that's totally okay too. But this course will not be for those people who are gonna sit on the sidelines and expect some change. It's gonna be very interactive, just like anything that you've ever done in your life. It took courage, it took time, it took sacrifice. Well, this isn't gonna be any different. And so this is what you're going to learn. You're gonna learn how a ketogenic diet can help you lose weight easily and suppress your appetite. For those of you who have an extra you know, couple pounds or more that you wanna lose. And I know that there's a lot of patients that are on this webinar that have immunity, immunity issues and really weight loss isn't their concern. So I will be working with you uh, individually in that 15 minute consult uh, once you sign up for the course and be able to really, uh, really tailor it to your specific needs. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about your, your vegetarian and keto scares you because when you think of keto, you think of meat. And so some of you may not want to do that and that's completely okay. We will make this work for everybody. The ketogenic diet is wonderful because it really helps to uh, deprive cancer of its main fuel, which is sugar. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about that and how we can manage diabetes and GERD and IBS issues and really eliminate that brain fog and just really begin to slow the aging down. Now, again, I'm 60 years old and most people say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're 60. And so I'd like to think I am an example of the lifestyle that I'm gonna be teaching you tonight. And so honestly, I tell every patient out there, if you have a desire and you're ready to make a shift, you can do it. Now, many of my patients end up coming to me out of frustration and they are discouraged by their own inability to get results through maybe books they've read or you know they go onto the internet and they try to do it themselves and I, and I really you know commend them for doing that but it's oftentimes really important that you need that support and that you also need to be accountable to somebody else besides yourself so the ketogenic program has been the answer that a lot of my patients were seeking for long-term success 
And that's what we want. We don't want a diet just because we're going to a wedding and we've got to fit into a, a, a size or two smaller than what we're at. We want this to be a way of life. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's not going to be as restrictive as you think in regards to the lifestyle as you continue to live this way. But in the beginning, of course, we're trying to change the dynamic of your chemistry. So yeah, it's going to be a little sobering in some of the things that I'm going to, you know, share with you in regards to how to how to really make this you become a utilization of your fats using for fuel. So you are going to learn everything you absolutely know, need to know about how to make this a long term life long protocol. You know, who am I? I am a certified nutritionist. And really, honestly, I've been working in the science of nutrition for over 35 years. Can't believe I'm even saying that, but wow, it went by fast. And honestly, I've developed thousands of nutritional protocols for our patients, ranging from anything from, you know, just basic uh, wellness to diabetes to cancer, really from A to Z. So I have a really wide range and vast arena that I'll be able to share with pretty much any circumstance or condition that you might have. Now, a lot of patients might ask, well, you know, why can't I just get a book and do this on my own? And again, we are looking at uh, a lot of information and it was really interesting because today I had a patient and um, they were saying that they had an allergy test and most everything that they were consuming was on their list of foods that they should not have that their immune system was responding negatively to and this is what I tell patients you might think a raw food diet or a vegan diet or an alkaline diet is the perfect diet for you, but it's not really getting you the results you want. And so a lot of times you could be eating the very food that is actually keeping you from fully getting uh, well and or creating that vitality that we're looking for. So let your body be the one to tell you. And it's really interesting because I always say the cleaner I become as far as my whole constitution, the faster I get results in regards of what my body likes and what it doesn't like. And even though it can be a little annoying, it's a wonderful geigometer because it instantaneously says, okay, well, that didn't work for you. You got a little itch here or a little rash there. And so it's great because my body is speaking to me and letting me know what works and what doesn't. So many times our body masks our allergens because we just continue to do them regardless whether we get a little bloaty or we get a little gassy. And then what happens? We we get, our body becomes eroded in some chemistry fashion, and then we end up with things like autoimmune issues, Hashimoto's, adrenal dysfunction. So we don't want to wait. We want to really be able to identify what our body is speaking and how we can move towards creating balance. There's so many fad diets out there that, are, that you give you those short-lived results, and we want a permanent lifestyle approach. And the ketogenic diet that I'm going to be offering as a platform is going to be modified. It's going to be modified to suit a lifestyle for the longevity and not just for a small interim. So again, you want to really ask yourself right now, if I didn't do anything, how will I be in a year from now? How will I be in the next five years? Is my health going to get any better? This is what I tell my patient. The only time we have is the time that we have in front of us right now. And so again, if you are frustrated and thinking, gosh, you know, I've been sitting on the sideline for a really long time and, you know, I need to move forward. I'm just going to go back to this one slide here. And because 80% of the population right now is currently overweight and experiencing some sort of health challenge, you don't want this to be you. You want to act now. You want to make a difference. And so hopefully at the end of this webinar, you're going to see the value and you will step up just like so many of my patients have that have gotten extraordinary results. So just a little brief history about the ketogenic diet. Now it became, pop so, and again, when people say, oh, the ketogenic diet, it's a fad diet. And I said, oh no, it actually became popular in the 1920s, the 1930s. It was developed 
really for an alternative to fasting. And in 1921, an endocrinologist, Robin uh, Woodyard, created this diet to treat epilepsy and also uh, mental disorders. You know, you know, it now has been shown to be very effective for many treatments, especially for cancer and managing diabetes and also obesity. So this is not a fad diet. This is something that has been scientifically proven for a very long time. So the primal blueprint. Now honestly, think about this this way. From an evolutionary standpoint, our ancestors were hunters and gatherers. Humans went into ketosis every winter because they didn't have the luxury to be able to go hunting. It snowed. There wasn't any what I would consider seasonal fresh berries or fruits or even, you know, greens that they could get. So our body has a built-in adaptation to be able to use our fat for fuel. And in fact, we store approximately about maybe 2,500 calories of glucose in our muscles, but we store over 10,000 calories in our fat cells for just that time that we need when we need to use our excess fat for energy. Now, obviously, we are living in a time where we don't have to do fasting and we have the food that's accessible 24-7, honestly, and this is probably a big problem that we have here that you can eat at any time of the day. And so, again, we want you to be able to uh, be a converter of these fats into ketones and let that be the primary source so that it can sustain you for long periods of time without feeling hungry. I think that's the thing that I get from most patients when they've been on this diet for a while. They say, you know, not only do I not have any cravings anymore, but I'm not hungry. Well, imagine that if you were in a starvation modality, why would you get a signal that you should eat when in fact you don't have any food supply. And so really having those ketone proteins in your blood also will depress your appetite, making it a lot easier to stay on this protocol, as I said, for a lifestyle pattern. Now, this is just a little bit of overview in terms of the metabolic pathways on a ketogenic diet. And so again, now when you are uh, um, depriving the body of either calories, like in a starvation mode that we did in our primal blueprint in the cave mandates, which we're not there, but if we deprive our body of not only calories, but of also glucose, which it's really the primary source of fuel for our muscles and our bones, then our body has no other choice but to use a secondary fuel, which is in our fat cells. Now, what it does is that it signals, the shuttles those fats into the liver, and it signals the body to be able to use these as a form of fuel. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Ketone proteins provide excellent fuel for your brain, for your metabolism, but those people who are suffering from cancer, cancer cells cannot ferment ketones. And so that's kind of what our goal is on the ketogenic diet with our, with our patients with immunity issues, that we're really literally cutting off their food supply. And of course, for people who have diabetic issues, we are healing their metabolism. Well, imagine if you're using your fat for fuel, so you're going to be reducing in body fat as well. And then of course, I always tell patients in those fat cells are not only fat, but toxins. And so when we do our six-week course, I will be talking to you about some modalities to use to help to open up the pathways so that you're able to also shuttle out the toxins as well as the fat uh, on the ketogenic protocol. Now, how does it improve your overall health? Well, first of all, think about it this way. If you have excess body fat, let's just say, oh, for a woman, over 28%, and for a man, over 18%, which really, I would say, is about 80% of the population, that extra fat is really an intricate organ creating bad estrogens. And those bad estrogens, not only are they inflammatory, and oftentimes, you know, for men, they can cause gynomastica. And as you can see in this picture here, you know, breasts on men and the belly on men. And so it's really hard to get that marbleized fat from the belly. So this has been the platform that has been most successful to be able to reduce your weight 
uh, your, your waistline and to diminish inflammation. This is something that my patients say a lot is, you know, my joints don't hurt anymore. I can kind of pop out of bed, you know, without having to sit at the edge of my bed for a few minutes. And wow, it gives them back their life and that sense of vitality. So you're going to be able to reap a lot of benefits on this ketogenic lifestyle. Now, how does it deprive, how does it starve or prevent cancer? Now, the interesting thing is a cancer cell has 10 to 12 times more receptors, those are doorways, for glucose to enter because it has 10 to 12 times more insulin receptor sites. Now, that's not good because obviously if we cut the glucose levels down, then those cancer cells, really it's like you have a guest in your house, you don't feed it. After a while, they're going to go away. And so really, honestly, I say, you know, you can have this beautiful home, this great room, but you stop feeding them, they're going to leave, okay? And so that is our intention and our goal. Now, it's interesting to note that 100 years ago, honestly, that, that we ate about one pound of sugar a year. One pound, can you imagine? Today, it's estimated that we consume up to 90 to 180 pounds of sugar a year. That is amazing. And I'm, when I'm not talking about sugar just in cookies and candy, I'm talking about everything that turns into glucose. And we're going to be talking about that, you know, in the, in the six-week course. So you're going to be so familiar. You don't have to pull your papers out when you go down the aisles. This is what I should have. You're just going to notice because I'm going to give you all the tools so that you can just by sight say, okay, that's got too much glucose, but these are the foods that I can have. And that's what we're going to be talking about, what you can have and not what you cannot have. So again, does this look like sugar? I mean, most of my patients, when I ask them, they say, oh yeah, no, no, I gave up sugar, I don't need sugar. And then when I start to talk up to them about their diet plan, and they start telling me, they say, oh, I had you know, a sandwich, and, or I had a hamburger, and I had some fries, and you know, I had some quinoa, and everybody you know, is in love with quinoa, right? And so the thing about quinoa, they think, oh, it's got so much protein in it. Well, honestly, Quinoa is just, it's a great because it's gluten-free and gluten causes a lot of inflammation. But honestly, a cup of quinoa is approximately, and that's after you take the carbo, after you take the fiber away, so this is net sugar, about 42 grams of sugar per one cup of cooked quinoa. And really, maybe at the most, 10 grams of protein. So for the vegetarians out there, they get kind of shocked because their diet is mostly quinoa as their protein or beans and grains. And of course, you need it because that helps to fill you up. But again, we don't want it to fill you out. And so again, think about it this way. Consuming uh, 40 grams, which is really pretty much 10 teaspoons of sugar, can decrease your white blood cell capacity, which is the army that's going to fight your viruses, your bacteria, and cancer by 50%. That is a lot. So here's the benefits of a keto lifestyle. It will help you prevent most diseases, and it's going to improve your overall body constitution. Body fat is going to help to uh, get rid of cellulite. It's going to increase your energy, especially the mental capacity. So many patients say, oh my gosh, I have so much better recall, and I have so much more a uh, sense of vitality and clarity, and I love that because at this age, at 60, you know, even I have those little instant senior moments where I'm like, oh my God, I can't recall that. And so the more clarity and the more of memory that we can have as we age, of course, the better lifestyle we're going to have. And then if we're decreasing this excess body fat, that's going to give us estrogenic effects and going to give us that unsightly belly that we have, then of course it makes us look a lot older. And when we lose that weight, we're more nimble. We can move around, enjoy ourselves. And, you know, I always say, you know, connecting with nature is really important. But when you're achy and you're overweight and, you know, you have a hard time climbing up mountains, then we don't really do it very often. And so you're going to see the benefits are going to be unlimited to you. And so what can you expect? This is one of my patients. And I absolutely just love this patient because she has been so committed to herself. She's found that self-love and said, I'm important. And it was interesting. She said, you know, Liliana, I've never, ever been smaller than a size 10. And that was the age 
of being 10 years old. And so from, you can see here in her transformation at a size 22, now back to a size 10. And so how exciting is that? She's such an inspiration. She's been taking my courses for about four years and has been just a tremendous help for me uh, in the inspiration and her knowledge because now she has become really, I would say, a ambassador to this way of life. You now one thing she said, and, and, and interesting to note, she is vegetarian too, so this can work for vegetarians as well. But she said, you know, Liliana, before I came to you, I had such inflammation, I was really going down uh, really a spiral of, of aging and bad health. And so now all of her numbers are great, her labs look great, she doesn't have any inflammation, she's inspired, she has a trainer a couple of times a week, and you know we are so proud of her. So these are just some of the benefits that you can expect on a keto lifestyle plan. So just for a moment, what I want you to do, because we're doing a lot of talking here, I just want you just to take a moment and just indulge me for just one moment, okay? I just want you to close your eyes and just take a moment to just center yourself, okay? I want you to just imagine, just for a moment, okay, that you're standing in front of a mirror. Now, you're smiling at yourself. You can actually, actually see yourself looking different. You're looking stronger, you're slimmer, you have just that little sense of vitality, that little glow in your eye that you didn't have before. You begin to realize that this lifestyle, this ketogenic lifestyle, is becoming so much easier than you first started. And you're beginning to really like what you see in the mirror and really like what you feel. Just imagine that for one minute. Just take a moment, take a deep breath in. Just allow the natural rise of the body as you do this. Just feel that in every single fiber of your body. What would that be like? You know, and maybe for the first time, you feel that today, and as we move forward, you're going to have the knowledge to start and to continue this path. You're going to experience more energy. You're going to be able to enjoy life more. I don't know about you, but to me, that visualization is powerful. Because just remember one thing. You will never attain what you cannot see or you imagine in your mind's eye. And so we're going to be teaching you how to change what's called reframing and get that, what I call that critical voice out of your head so that you can imagine this, that you are smiling at yourself. You're feeling good about yourself. You've created dominion over yourself again. I'm looking forward to really being able to coach you to one day you're going to share, yes, I got it. I feel it. So excited. So really for the past 14 years, as I said, I've been operate, offering this course on site at the Center for New Medicine with really great success. And so today, um, I'm going to be offering it as an online course at the request of many of my patients that are not able to attend my on-site classes. Now, let me just tell you what this course is going to include. Now, module one, now all of the modules are going to be sent to you on a weekly basis. I want this to be really interactive. I want to have, now I always tell, tell my patients, I, don't, I won't know how to help you unless you give me feedback. So really, I'm going to want your feedback. So we're going to do these one-hour webinars. They're going to be live. You can ask me questions. I'll be giving handouts and asking you to give me your goals and let's create affirmation. But the first module is all about the honeymoon phase. Now, when you think about a honeymoon phase, you think about something really enjoyable. Now, people will say, oh my gosh, going on to any diet is not enjoyable at all because it's stressful. I gotta think about what I eat and what I do. The honeymoon part of this, and everybody says this when they come to see me a week later, I lost five pounds. I'm so excited. And so just remember, and then they start thinking, okay, a month from now, if I lose five pounds this week, I'm going to have lost 20 pounds by the end of the month. So the honeymoon phase is really when your body 
begins to have this little changeover. And then what is it going to do first? It's going to dump a lot of the water that you've been housing because when you've got these fat cells uh, that are all full, they're going to also be pocketed with water. So the honeymoon phase, you're going to lose a lot of weight in the first week. But as you continue, we're going to be, you know, hopefully looking for a one and a half to two pound a week for those who are interested in losing weight. But for those of you who are not interested in losing weight, especially my patients who have immunity issues, who may already be in cachexia and lost a lot of their muscle, then I'll be supporting you with a little bit of higher calories and a little bit higher fat content. So this webinar is going to be able to suit all of your needs. Now, module two, we're going to be talking about becoming a fat burner because literally you're going to have to be, create enzymes to be able to access these fats. Think about fat that is sitting in a locked vault right now. And so you're going to be learning some, also some tests that I might ask you to do in regards of um, things that could be blocking your ability to access fat, like your CRP levels, which is C-reactive protein, which causes inflammation and or leptin responses or glucose levels. And so again, we will uh, address these things as they come up in your 15 minute uh, consultation with me so that we can tailor it to your needs. Now in the third module, and I tell everybody out there that the diet alone is not gonna give you the fantastic body that you're looking for, or even the ability to lose the toxins as quickly as you could if we don't adopt some form of exercise. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, I don't have time to exercise. Well, guess what? We're gonna make it really simple that you can do exercises at home, five minutes here, five minutes there, but you need to move the body. We need to sweat because that's one of the avenues which we're able to excrete toxins as well. Now, the fourth module is gonna talk all about stress and how it causes inflammation, even causes cancer. And so this is a really uh, sensitive subject because most people uh, don't realize that their stress is undermining their health. I would say that probably 85% of, of the patients that come to me share with me that they're in a very stressful environment, whether it's their work or their home life. And honestly, just that alone can cause weight gain, can cause diabetes, and cause a whole host of disorders. So we're going to teach you not only how to downregulate, but to manage, because there's always going to be stress, good stress, stress that's bad stress. But if we don't know how to respond to it, then it can continue to erode our health. Now, the fifth module, module is all about cellular intelligence. And this is one of my favorite talks, topics because I love doing emotional work with people. And I always tell patients that we have all of this ghost memory in our tissues that is creating weaknesses in our organ system. So many of us have uh, compartmentalized uh, our, our emotions, especially when things have um, been traumatic in our life. We have a tendency to kind of just shove them down. But like anything, like a, a let's just say a beach ball that you push down in the water, at unopportune moments, it pops up to the surface. And so I'm gonna teach you how to tap into limiting belief systems that may be running your filter, not allowing you to achieve the vitality and the health that you're looking for. So that's gonna be a really exciting module. I love that cellular intelligence because every single cell is listening to you 24 seven. It's waiting for your commands. So if the voice in my head is negative, I'm overweight, I'm fat, look at me, I'm getting old, guess what? You're just gonna get more of the same thing. Now module six is all about metabolic adjustment. That means some of the foods that we'll be taking out for allergenic sensitivities, we're gonna be bringing back and seeing how your body responds to things. And for those of you who have uh, attained some of your goals, and are capable of adding some more foods into your diet, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. We're gonna talk all about uh, how to do uh, break plateaus uh, when you are in metabolic adjustment and you gain a few pounds. How do you get back to where uh, you were prior to? Because life is life. There's always gonna be a party. There's always gonna be a moment where we're in a situation where we don't have all the foods we wanna have. And so we might step outside of the protocol and we find the next day we're three to five pounds heavier. And honestly, it's not what you ate. I mean, you could have had sushi with rice and you weighed it. It didn't weigh three or four pounds. 
but it was the water retention that your body had to change the plasma to accommodate more higher carbohydrate foods. And so one of the things you're going to realize is when you go on to a very low carbohydrate diet, you're not going to have edema or the waterlogged tissue like your ankles and a lot of people get swollen ankles and legs. You won't have that anymore. That's going to be a thing of the past. So it's going to be very exciting. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what these, um, what the course is going to be. Uh, besides the modules, we're going to have interactive live webinars with Q&A. So I'm going to answer all your questions. And then again, if those of you who are not on Facebook who are going to be do, doing this um, just on your computer, you can send me an email with your questions so and I'll be able to answer them. So if you don't have Facebook, um, it would be nice if you did. That way we could just basically be live and I can answer at the moment, but we, you can also send me emails. And they can be live on the, they'll be live on the and, But webinar. you will be live on the webinar, okay? And so again, you're going to have access to our community of support. And I'm going to do cooking shows, especially for you guys. And so it's going to be fun. So it'll be, you know, you might even ask me, hey, you know, I really, this is one of my favorite homing foods. You know, I'm Italian. I love pasta. Liliana, how can you make pasta ketogenic? And so I will take uh, some, uh, you know, if you want to have something special, then I will listen and I will try to make that recipe specifically for you. I'm also going to send you out a health questionnaire. And um, in that health questionnaire, I'm just going to get some basics so I know a little bit more of your history. A lot of you are already patients and I already have uh, a relationship with you. But for those of you who I don't, uh, this 15-minute uh, conversation that we have, you can tell me all of your particulars and some of the concerns you have some of the health challenges that you might be experiencing at the moment. You're going to have, but even when the webinar is over with, the six weeks, you're going to have ongoing access to our keto community. And what's really exciting is I put together a really nice little keto cookbook for you, and we're going to be giving you weekly handouts. So again, it's going to be a lot of support. I'm going to basically be there every step of the way with you, so you will not be alone. You'll be with the whole group of keto members. Now, the special offer that I'm going to uh, offering tonight as part of the beta group, you guys are special people because a beta group means not only it's for the first time, but I'm going to really rely on your uh, feedback. And so, again, you know, we want to make it the best we possibly could be. So don't hesitate. If you have a comment that could make this course any better, tell me. I will be happy to accommodate with anything because I'm here to be of service to you and to your needs. So for the cost of this webinar, normally with what we're offering would be about a $497 value. However, because we are, you are our first people, we're going to give you the opportunity to participate in co-creating this online experience. And so we're gonna give you a coupon that's gonna give you a $200 discount. So it's, and then it will only be $297. So I hope that you, you know, feel that that is going to be great value because I promise at the end of this six weeks, you're going to say, oh my gosh, I got so much more than I ever expected. Now, what's next? So what I'd like you to do, and we are going to open up the chat box, but there's going to be a link in the chat box, the chat box that will allow you to sign up. And again, we're only going to receive 35 attendees. We've got about a third of that filled already because we sent it out uh, earlier. And so again, we're going to uh, keep it open until we get 35 patients or Friday. till Friday, which is November 3rd, because we would like to start this webinar next Wednesday again at seven o'clock. Once I get you guys in the group, and if you want us kind of go Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you know, it'll be your option, as I said, I'm designing this course to fit all of your needs. And then, of course, if you get home late and you didn't get to, to, to participate in the live, it will be in your um, you know, saved file, and you can watch it anytime you want. And you might even find that you might want to watch it more than one time. I mean, when I am learning something, oftentimes I will refer back to it time and time again, just so, that, again, it sinks into every single fiber. What I want you to be thinking about, you're going to become the change 
that you are seeking. So again, as interactive as possible is what we're looking for. And honestly, I'm so excited and I'm so looking forward to working with you. So I'm gonna go go ahead and open up the chat box. So if you have any questions to ask me, please write them in, don't hesitate, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Okay, so let's see, we have a question here. Will we get recipes in a PDF format? Yes. Absolutely, you'll get recipes, and I've got some great ones. So I've got vegetarian recipes, I've got you know the keto optimized recipes, we've got treats in there. In fact, for those of you who stayed on to the webinar this whole time, I'm going to give you a little special bonus tonight, and these are gonna be my keto cheat treats is what I call them. And so again, they're, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be what my patients are always asking me, do I have to stop eating bread for the rest of my life or that crunchy, salty crackers? And so guess what? I'm going to be giving you, you can download it at the end of this we webinar and it's gonna be seven little recipes that I think you're gonna find absolutely fantastic. So guess what? You're gonna realize I don't have to give up anything. All I have to do is turn it keto style. They should have a link in there right now that says there's a link in the chat box they can click to go directly to the purchase page. Oh, okay. And so again, there is a link in the chat box. So if you want to go directly to the purchase page, you can do that now as well. And let's see, we had uh, approximately how long does it take to lower cholesterol on this diet? So I had a patient today and it was really great because I love it when patients come up to me and I try to create really bonding with my patients, hug them, and get them uh, to know that they can always count on me, not only for information, but I love it when they come up to me and give me information. And so I had a patient just the other day say, oh, you know, oh my gosh, I just want to let you know, I got my labs done. It's been three months since I've been on this keto uh, diet and I reversed my type two diabetes. My cholesterol levels are all normal and I've lost 20 pounds and I feel fantastic. So just remember this, your blood changes every three months. So it's gonna take about a three month period for you to see some significant changes. So if you've had lab works done, I would suggest again, do it in about another three months. That would be good. Well, the, okay, so the next question is, will the entire six week course be recorded and available? Yes, it will be recorded and available. So if you are not able to do it live, you'll be able to do it at your own convenience. So is it okay to drink coffee with prostate cancer? So yes, it is okay to drink coffee. Now, one of the things that I tell my patients, especially that have immunity issues, that I prefer that they turn it into a bulletproof coffee. And so again, if you add a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, it will give you some calories to slow the glucose into the bloodstream. And I'll be sharing with you how to do intermittent fasting as well, where we use a bulletproof either green tea or a coffee. And I tell my patients, of course, coffee is a little acidic. So before you even think about drinking coffee, you want to make sure you're drinking at least 16 ounces of some water just to flush your kidneys. But I'd say one cup of coffee a day for people who have immunity issues is absolutely perfect. Let it be organic. If you drink more than one cup, then you want to kind of make it as weak as you possibly can uh, so that you can afford yourself a little bit more. But yes, you can. This is juicy. Okay, so uh, is it okay? Where are we at now? Another question? It says it's juicy. Yes, oh, you wanted to know about juicy. So, of course, now just remember all carbohydrates that grow from the plant kingdom are going to be glucose oriented. So when my patients want to juice, which I think juicing is very anecdotal and great, they've got to think bitter, better all the time. So we're thinking green. So I would say you want to use your base as a cucumber and celery, which you're going to get a lot of liquid out of that. And then you're going to add parsley, which is great for the kidneys. And I, I kind of just treat it like if it was a salad, you know, a head of romaine lettuce, some broccoli, uh, 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 you know, little spears in there. Uh, and I, and again, cilantro is great for chelation, but you want to keep it as green as possible. And I say, just put a few drops of stevia to give it a sweet taste to it rather than putting an apple or carrots. You can use one carrot, but again, we want to keep it as green as possible. How much juice? I'd say, you know, think about it this way. If three cups of broccoli is nine grams of sugars or 10 cups of spinach is nine grams of sugars, then you're going to kind of want to calculate, well, how many carbohydrates do I get in a whole day? And so a lot of my patients, especially when they've been newly diagnosed with cancer, 
they go on a detox protocol, which I think is perfect because they've got the vitality, they've got the energy. And so that might be a period of time where that's all they're doing is juices. But if they're you know, consuming animal protein and they're consuming other foods, then I want to keep the juice probably to no more than 16 ounces a day. Okay, so how will we do the Facebook group? Uh, do you send us a link to come on? Yes. Yes, so we will send you everything you absolutely need uh, to be a part of our group. The Facebook group will be a private closed group and they'll receive an invitation to join. Okay, that's my, that's my partner over there, Landy. So she said the Facebook, uh, the Facebook group book will be private, so it will just be us. Okay, I've got a Facebook page that I do live webinars. So it'll just be our, our private little group here. And so everything is going to be confidential. And so don't worry about it. Everything, like what they say, you know, what happens in, in uh, Vegas stays in Vegas. And what happens in this course stays in our community. Okay, it says here, will you customize the diet for each participant? I'm guessing uh, we may have different caloric needs. Yes. So when you, when I talk to you on that 15 minute phone consult, I'm going to be asking you questions. One, I'm going to be asking you how much you weigh, what is your goal in regards, whether you just want to maintain your weight or whether you want to lose weight. And then based on that formula uh, or those, that information, I'm going to be telling you exactly how many protein, carbs, and fats that you're going to need in a mathematical equation to make it work specifically for you. Now he says, how do you know if you're in ketosis, do you pee on strips and do they really work? So again, one of the things that I'm going to share with you is that we're going to do a modified ketogenic diet, which means that we're going to do, uh, we're going to have different tools to allow you to be in ketosis, but you may not be in ketosis all the time and it isn't necessary. And so again, I will be teaching you in regards of the timing when you should eat, intermittent fasting, but you can use the ketone strips. They're about a two hour delay in regards of real time. They're only effective really for about the first two weeks and then your body basically adapts to down-regulating its water content. So they're not as effective. The breathalyzer is much more effective. So when my patients have diabetes or uh, a ca a cancer, I tell them just get a glucose meter. Let yourself be your own experiment. So if you're questioning about, gee, you know, I maybe had, you know, something that was a little higher in glucose, just test your glucose uh, 45 minutes after you eat and let your body talk to you. And I'm going to be teaching you all these tricks. So you're going to have everything and all the tools you need to be successful. Okay, so what is the best water to drink and how much and what do you think of a vitalizer? Now, I don't know what that vitalizer is, so you can maybe type in there what that is. And of course, I tell patients, it's not necessary to drink alkaline water 24-7. If you have an alkaline machine, great. Um, I like, uh, if you have a reverse osmosis machine, fantastic. It's going to get out most of the contaminants, heavy metals, chlorine as well. And so we just do not want to have tap water. You don't want to drink water out of plastic bottles either because it would have absorbed some uh, leach, some estrogen in it as well. And I like mend water. I like um, Mountain Valley spring water. And I will give you guys a whole list of, I think, um, actually in our um, – uh, optimize your kitchen. I've got all the waters that I would recommend on that. Uh, we got the link type back in. Okay, so let's see. It says, What is the best way to get more oxygen at home? Are breathing exercise helpful? Absolutely. One of the things that I teach and I do myself religiously is I lay down on the floor, I put my legs over a chair or a bench so that they're supported. And I do what's called conscious focused breathing. And this is really easy to do. I want everyone to do this. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a nice deep, deep breath, you know, just kind of allow the air to just gently flow into the stomach. But what I want you to do is hold your breath. So when you hold, like I say, just take a deep breath in and you keep breathing and take in more breath as much as you possibly can and just hold it. And you're going to feel your lungs begin to expand. Now, the first time you do this, honestly, when I first started doing it, I maybe lasted 15, 20 seconds. 
Now I'm up to about 50 seconds. So I can see that my lung capacity has gotten far greater, but when we exhale, we're really releasing the air, pushing it out so we get all the carbon dioxide out. So focused breathing, and I like to do it like maybe five, six times at night before I go to bed, calms down the central nervous system. It, you know, you flatten out your adrenal glands when you're laying on your back. So again, we want to create more oxygen. One of the ways you're going to create more oxygen is to not to, to get all of the allergenic foods out of your diet. When you get all those grains out of the diet, what happens is that you can digest your food better. When you have foods that your body doesn't do well with, it creates a sticky, a sticky lectin, like a glue. So if that stickiness touches a red blood cell, they stick together like a little chain. We call that rouleauing. And a white blood cell has got to come up and, go, and, and clean up all that protein in order for it to enter the capillary wall one cell at a time. So what is that doing? It's having delayed oxygen, and it's also taking your president and telling it to go empty out the garbage because that's your immune system. So it's a really terrible waste of time. Okay, how long will the webinar videos be available online? Will they be available for reference even after the courses? Yes. Because what we're going to do is create the course around the input that we receive during the interaction. Okay. So there will be um, the, the Keto Kickstart course itself will be a combination and we'll be doing it again and they will have access to okay. it. Okay. So um, what we're going to do, since this is a beta group, we and we're, I'm going to take they will be available for you, but we're actually going to update them and they're going to be available for you as well. So all the information that you give me, probably in January, you know, we'll probably think about doing this with all of your feedback. And so you will have access to those. So once you become a member, um, you're there and you will be able to get this course online. Okay. I'll get the webinars up until we update them. Yeah. So the these webinars will all be available until we update them. So yes, you will have access to them. Well, I'm going to be sending you the modules that is going to absolutely blow your mind. It's going to have absolutely everything that you need. And, um, and if you need more, you just let me know and I'll see what I can do. But I promise you, most people say, Liliana, you're kind of like this, you know, water hose. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. And so I'm going to give you more than what you are looking for. So, um, available. Oh, okay. Okay, so it says a vitalizer spins the water and adds minerals. Okay, um, and it assimilates in the running stream. First, you take the filter water. I like that because it's going to put energy in the water, and that's going to be really good in far, as far as on a cellular level. It makes it a more alive water. So I think that those, we, we use a, 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 a filtration system called uh, the Canston water filtration system. And that is exactly what that does. It creates almost like if it's running water from the brook. So it's gonna have more energy, but of course it's gonna have the most energy when you take it, you know, when you first fill up your glass of water, but you let it sit there for a little while, then you'll notice that the energetic field will go down. So yes, those are great. Okay, somebody's sharing some information. Just tell everybody in the, in the group to click on a link in the chat. If they want more information. Okay, on so that. we have a, 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 someone that has uh, been kind enough. Jamie. Jamie, thank you very much to share a link. So if you are interested, these are the water filters, right? I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so I think they might be the water filters, uh, but there's a link there. Uh, and so thank you for that information. And again, I can share more uh, uh, different companies and things like that if you're in need of a water filter, okay? Okay. okay, any uh, specific contraindications for people without gallbladders? Uh, that's an excellent question. So since this diet is uh, more composed of healthier fats, now it's really interesting because when people go on the internet and they start looking at ketogenic diets, it's very forward with cheese. And for, uh, for those of you who have seen me before and have immunity issues, you know that um, cheese has insulin growth factors in it. So if you have an immunity issue, 
I don't really like my patients to have a lot of cow dairy. For those of you who have no immunity issues, I prefer to do goat and sheep. It's a smaller molecular structure. Your body will utilize it better. And in some of the recipes, um, I do have that for patients. And if they want to use a vegan cheese that's made out of uh, almonds, I have that available as well as far as some of the recipes are concerned. But um, pretty much we try to keep the cheese down as low as possible. But as far as the gallbladder, I want patients who have a uh, gallbladder that has been surgically removed to take digestive enzymes that have lipase in it that is specifically for breaking fats down. And then of course, that's some information that you can share with me. And if you are a patient at the Center for New Medicine, I'll invite you to come in and I can scan you uh, energetically uh, with a biofeedback mechanism to see which uh, gallbladder support you may need because everybody that has a gallbladder removed which means that that is the pump that uh, is going to excrete the bile to break the fats down. Uh, sometimes it's difficult and they get diarrhea on this protocol. And so I have um, experience with patients that bile salts and lipase work really, really well, okay? Um, uh, so one of the questions would, uh, will you, Will you, will you address how to reach ketosis without eating dairy? It's hard to get enough fat. Well, honestly, everybody kind of thinks that this diet is like, you know, all the bacon, all the fat. We don't want that kind of fat because that is not usable fat. It's oxidized fat. And honestly, most of you women out there, you're going to have, let's just say, maybe depending if it's weight loss you're looking for, I don't put you at 75 or 80% because we want weight loss, right? If you have an immunity issue, then I do have you between, you know, let's just say 60 and 75% fat. And so again, almost all my recipes have enough fat in them. Honestly, think about this. If you broke that down for a woman and they're getting, say, somewhere around uh, 80, 85 grams of fat a day, and we put this over four different times that you're eating. Now we have three different meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or if we do intermittent fasting, you'll only have two. But mid-afternoon, I want you to do some fat because fat doesn't increase insulin. So you'll continue to burn fat for fuel, but you'll have like a cup of tea with a tablespoon of coconut oil or a fat bomb or some fats that help you to get to the next meal with high energy. And so honestly, that's approximately for a woman somewhere around two tablespoons of oil. 14 grams of fat are in each tablespoon of oil. So between your salad dressing, maybe a little avocado, if you're eating animal protein, a little bit of protein, you're done. So it's really not that much fat, honestly. Most of you are already eating that and more. So it's going to be, you're going to be surprised. If you have issues, like I said, no gallbladder, we'll address that on a personal level when I do the 15-minute phone call. Uh, okay, it says, was told, baking, was told to use baking soda to get your pH up, which really works, but if pH is up, anyone should, uh, let's see, uh, pH is, okay, so um, yes, baking soda works very nicely to get your pH. Now, just remember, if I'm breaking fats down for fuel, your body is going to be excreting these ketones, and so one, you're going to urinate a lot, and you can be a little acidic. Now, again, I tell patients if they have immunity issues and they get a little uh, pH strips, they can do that. And I tell patients, you're, when you excrete out of the urine, that is excess. And so it's always going to be slightly acidic. So I have them use uh, it in their mouth so that they can get the pH because that will already have corrected itself. And if you happen to be uh, too much in an acid state, then the uh, baking soda works really good. But actually, I've got other stuff like minerals. Uh, that will also support pH that tastes a lot better. Oh, okay, thank you. So that, that little um, uh, uh, link in there that Jamie sent to us was not for the water filter. That was for a ketone meter. Now, now one of the things that I want to share with you is that we don't necessarily, for those of you who are just want this as a lifestyle and you want to lose weight, you don't necessarily need to be in full ketosis all the time. And so again, 
the urine ketone sticks will work just fine for the duration of this course. If you have cancer or you have a more severe restriction, then of course the blood ketone meter, uh, the ketone meter itself is cheap, but the strips are like $3 a strip, which are expensive and can add up. So I like using the breathalyzer. So for those of you who um, want to have that information, I will uh, give you a link to be able to do that, okay? Okay, it says, I'm coming to the Center for New Medicine uh, for prostate cancer, and my girlfriend is coming with me. Can the doctors and you help her with fibromyalgia? Uh, she has some pain all the time. Okay, so just remember, pain in the body is inflammation. So honestly, she should be on the same diet that you're on. Get rid of the gluten in your diet. And, and also, too, we might want to check for Lyme disease because most people, uh, or not most people, but many people, it, fibromyalgia is a symptom of something bigger. And I'll, we often will, and I can actually energetically do that on my limbic stress assessment. I have a protocol on there that we can check for that as well. But the ketogenic diet will be absolutely awesome for her. Okay, is there an issue with not enough fiber on this diet? Yes, that's a great question. Now, one of the things that I tell patients, and they're going to be built in. Uh, when when I when I send you this information, you're going to have. Uh, about a 14-day menu plan, and then you can rotate that as you see fit along with all of the information that I'm going to give you on what foods are going to be best for you. And of course, since we don't get to eat the grains and we don't get to eat as much salad and much vegetables as we want, the fiber is low. And again, uh, some patients are... Uh, uh, now, remember one thing is that when we start shifting our body, our, our stools are going to change a little bit. But I have what's called a fiber drink. And I just basically have you do that two times a day. Now remember, fiber suppresses a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin is a signal to the brain that says, hey, I'm hungry, go get a snack, right? And since we're trying to keep that four to five hour period between each meal so that we become more keto adaptive during that period of time, if you just take like a teaspoon, maybe to start out with, or a tablespoon of psyllium husk with some water, some cinnamon, some stevia, give it a little shake, drink it. It's kind of like, tastes like a cream of rice. It's going to immediately put contents in the stomach, which is going to immediately single your brain. Hey, you're not hungry anymore. And again, it will not take you out of a fat burning modality because there will be no calories associated to it. So uh, just to explain intermittent fasting a little bit more. So intermittent fasting for a lifestyle in regards to um, kind of adjusting the metabolism a little bit. It's about anywhere between a 16 to 18 hours with no food. So of course, the best time to do that is after dinner. Maybe you stop eating food around seven o'clock at night. And then you have your bulletproof tea or coffee in the morning. So you're still in that mindset of burning fat for fuel. And then that, that, that caffeine in both of those cut your hunger. And then you can eat at whatever time you're really hungry. Wait, it's, it's kind of fun to be hungry. I mean, so often we just eat because it's available in there. But when you actually get into this mindset, you really enjoy food and you're very satisfied with actually so much less than you ever thought possible. My husband says, I can't even believe I'm not hungry on this protocol. He's been on this protocol for about three weeks now and he's lost about 15 pounds. We're really excited. And he's had some you know, health challenges with his blood sugar. And this is the only protocol that has allowed him to get rid of some of that belly fat. So we're all very, very excited. Okay, so, uh, so, so just to finish up on that, um, the uh, intermittent fasting. So what I tell patients to do is maybe two days a week, you might decide that, hey, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm really busy. I don't have time to make a breakfast and this works really well. And so I say a couple days a week would probably be really good. You know, as we, as we go into the protocols, I'm going to be giving you all kinds of ideas on how to break plateaus, how to increase your white blood cells if you're going into chemotherapy with intermittent fasting. Okay, and so let's see. I've recently seen some articles about keto diet and thyroid health. Any concerns about the keto diet if you have an underactive thyroid? Well, I have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune to the thyroid, and I follow this diet 
to a T. Now, of course, I'm going to do it the way I teach you, which is a modified version. And then, of course, I'm in maintenance mode because I've been doing this for a very long time. So my carbohydrate content is probably going to be a little bit more than yours. But again, yes, if you're too low in carbohydrates, it does downregulate the thyroid, which rules the metabolism. And so one of the things that you can be doing is um, just get a mercury thermometer. Okay, you can get that at any pharmacy. And before you wake up, about 10 minutes before you get out of bed, just stick it underneath your armpit. And if it reads below 97, then you've got low functioning thyroid. So oftentimes, if you are on thyroid medication, you may need to increase it up a bit. And so again, you know, please give me that information if that should happen. Now, if you're not taking thyroid information, and you might just try to do this as your own experiment to see, do I have a low functioning thyroid? Just go ahead and do that yourself. And if it's below 97, then you might need some iodine to get your thyroid to work a little bit better. But of course, I, uh, uh, thyroid medication is a medication, so I won't be able to administer, but I can certainly tell you the tests that you might want your doctor to run. Okay, so it says lots of conflicting info out there about whether fruit is good for fighting cancer or too high in sugar. So again, bitter, better all the time. So if I have berries, they're far more bitter than tropical fruits. Berries have eulogenic acid, which helps as an antioxidant to support the immune system to fight cancer. But again, think about it this way. A cup of berries is somewhere around 10 to 12 carbohydrates versus a banana that's 27. So if your carbohydrate load for, let's just say a man, is going to be somewhere around 18 carbohydrates, or for a woman, it could be anywhere from 10 to 12, then I just take that in consideration. So when we've got this, you know, we've had this wonderful summer, and we've got a lot of uh, vine ripe fruit, of course, who's not going to want that? And so a lot of times, I will have, you know, a little bit bowl of fruit first thing in the morning, wait about 30 minutes until it, you know, it moves out of my uh, stomach into my small intestine for digestion, and then I'll have a shake. That shake won't have any fruit in it because I've already eaten my glucose. So once a day only for people who have immunity issues, and really for weight loss too, because you know if an apple or a pear or an orange is 18 carbs, we really want to keep it down low. So you are going to be able to have some, but no more than once a day. Okay. What can I do to get rid of wrinkles without getting a facelift? Well, couple of things are really important. Hydration, hydration, hydration. And then of course, interestingly enough, when you get your glucose levels down, it actually is excellent for the collagen of your skin. And then of course, when we start to exercise, we start to sweat and we're starting to get the vitality and glow and, you, and you're creating a, a more balanced blood sugar, that will help you a lot, okay? As I said here, I've never had any facial work done. Yeah, I've had a little bit of Botox. And, but other than that, nothing else done and I'm 60 years old. So you can see this diet is an anti-aging protocol. Okay, let's see, will we get a list of items we need ahead of time, such as psyllium husk, et cetera, uh, can keto diet uh, help gain weight? So a keto diet cannot help gain weight, but it can help manage your weight. So many of my patients, especially uh, patients with cancer, it's one of their biggest complaints. They're scared to lose weight, and not for the simple fact that they feel it's unsightly, but they get really, really weak. And so what I tell patients is we want to manage your weight. When you're in a, a, pro, a, a, a treatment phase where you have cancer, think about this. Your body is fighting 24-7. So if you were in the army and you were on the battlefield 24-7, you'd be skinny too. And so again, what we want to do is get, have you not lose any more weight. And so again, once you're onto this protocol, we usually see patients can gain about five pounds on it when I bolster it up with the fats and we make sure we dial it in. But other than that, I say, wait till you are out of what we call the critical zone, and then your body naturally starts to replace its muscle and you start to gain some of that weight back. Okay, wait. So will you provide a shopping list for your recipes? Will you provide a set of meal plans? So I've got a 14-day meal plan and it's just a template, so of course, if you're vegetarian 
or if you have other you know uh, situations that uh, require specifics, then you would just kind of switch things out. But I do have a 14 day uh, in regards to what you should be consuming the first and second weeks and so forth. Uh, but again, I'm going to give you a whole list of all the foods that are going to be what you can have. And then I'm going to give you a list of all the foods that we would like to put on the shelf for a little while, take it over there, and maybe never even bring it back. And so I will provide you with that information. And, you know, I'm going to give you this list so that you can take it to the grocery store and you know everything on that list I can have. Okay, so I don't eat nightshades, well you have substitutes available. So many people, especially people who have blood type A, do not do well with nightshades because the sapignons in there can aggravate and cause arthritic conditions. So again, it, all of this is important. You know, when you talk to me about your own personal needs, and so like when we do a, a pasta, for example, and tomato and bell pepper are nightshades, well then guess what? Instead of you doing a, a pasta with a marinara sauce, you'll be able to do a beautiful creamy pesto sauce. So there's gonna be an alternative for pretty much anything that you're looking for. So this question was, if you know you have, if your thyroid is slow and you're on medication, is, is there any way to get out of medication with nat with, that's natural? So as I said before, I had uh, Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune to the thyro thyroid. And I'll talk a little bit about that when we're doing emotional stuff because, you know, it definitely plays the emotions here in the thyroid. And so when I first got it and uh, my thyroid was all over the place, TSH, everything, free, T free T3, free T4, with a lot of detoxification, you know, not consuming foods that were toxins to me or putting chemicals on my body and again doing liver flushes my numbers are all great i started out with one grain then i went to one and three quarters grain. now i do a quarter grain so just depending on your chemistry i can't say that you can get off of it completely but i will guarantee you're going to be able to reduce it down to a minimal no more questions okay so I think and I hope that I have answered all your questions and I hope that you're excited about really stepping, in, stepping into a new platform. And this platform isn't something that you're going to be doing for just the six weeks. It's going to be the fabric of who you are to keep you younger, to keep you more viable, viable vital, and to keep you metabolically the way you should be. And so again, with that mental clarity, you're gonna be able to make the right choices in your life to really start being self-serving to your own personal needs. So I really hope that you take the time out and download your information on the little keto trees. I think you're gonna be really happy. And they're- Thank you for sticking to the end. Trip. Yeah, and thank you for sticking all the way to the end. I love you guys are so, awesome. Yeah. Go so go to the chat box and you can uh, download, it's called Favorite Keto Cheat Treats. And so again, these things are great for the mental mind. Now, are they gonna increase your immunity? Are they gonna help you lose weight? No, but guess what, just sometimes, we need a little hit and that pleasure site in our brain, the dopamine receptor site is looking for the texture of bread, the coolness of ice cream, the sensation of chocolate in your mouth. Well, who needs to give that up when we know how to make it keto style? Any other questions? So do we have any other questions before we zoom out? <laughs> okay, so I want to honestly have you sit for a moment and just really ask yourself, what is the value of your health? Really, the new wealth is your health. Because for those of you who are in a situation of compromised health, you know you would absolutely give your last time to be well, to reverse your condition. The time is now. We don't have time to wait. When one of two women, or one of two men now, because it used to be one of two of uh, one of two women and one of three men, now it's one of two human beings are getting a debilitating disease. We can't wait. So really, I hope you seize this opportunity and come into our group and let's do this together and let's make a difference so that you become an ambassador to health and you will reap the benefits, some that you never knew even possible.
So what I want you to do is that there is a link below. Again, we are going to keep this open until we get 35 attendees. We will close it by Friday and we will start our Keto Kickstart next week. So I hope you've learned a little pearls tonight uh, that I've shared with you. You can share it with your friends, share this video with other people, uh, bring your community of friends in. So it's always funner when you have someone to do it with. And I look forward to seeing you in, let's see what we have. Tell them that, um, the, 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 the thing is uploading right now. It's taking a while for oh, okay. the actual keto trees. We'll just go ahead and send that. It's taking okay, so I'm going sweet, to, sweet time uploading. Uh, okay, so of course we always have computer glitches here. And um, so the download for the cheat treats are taking a little time, a little longer time to download. So Just we are them. going to email them to you all, okay? So you're gonna have them for sure. And anyway, I look forward to working with you and really watching and experiencing your transformation in the keto lifestyle world. Have a great night and a great sleep. See you then.